wondered how you can turn a little bit of money into a large chunk of cash by investing in stocks? In this video, I'm gonna break down one of my smaller investments to show you how I turned 2,700 bucks into over 43,000 bucks. Now, before I begin with this video, just know that this isn't investment advice at all. I'm just telling you my story and what I did. There's a lot of risk in the stock market and not every investment is going to be a winner. About a decade ago, I started my journey into the stock market as a day trader. I would never ever hold a stock more than for that single day. I was trying to make profit from short term moves in the market. I made some money and I lost some money and it always had felt like the market was getting harder and harder to beat because of the high speed trading algorithms. It felt like they were learning our day trading strategies and how to actually trade against our strategies. So I started to seek out better and more profitable ways to trade and invest in stocks. My focus shifted from day trading to learning about longer term fundamental based investing from a friend of mine who ran a hedge fund. I started learning how to read financial statements, how to find undervalued companies based on different metrics, and I would end up taking my charting skills from day trading to help me know when to enter positions based on what the price action on the chart looked like. But I didn't want to go in guns blazing and put a ton of money at risk right away. After all, I was learning a completely new strategy and I've always been really great at managing my risk and protecting my capital. I wasn't about to blow out my account now. I started by putting small amounts of capital into a few stocks that I thought had big upside potential. And one of those positions was in the company Square. I ran my thesis by my hedge fund buddy to make sure that I wasn't crazy. And then I bought the stock as it was selling off with a small amount of money in my account, about 2,700 bucks. Let's talk position sizing for just a moment. With my day trading, I would have much larger position sizes because I knew that at the end of the day, I was closing my position and I knew exactly what my max possible loss of capital was going to be. I would also day trade on something called margin to be able to get my position sizes even larger. It's basically trading on loaned money. But with this, since it was a newer strategy and I was still learning how to really properly analyze these companies, I wanted to play it safe. As of today, I have turned that $2,700 into over $43,000 and counting. So how? Is this easy to duplicate? Let's dive into my thought process and why I invested at that time. To start, I was able to see opportunity in Square while the market was basically hating it. The stock had been selling off for weeks shortly after the IPO, and the IPO is basically when it gets listed on the stock exchange. So my chart reading skills kicked in and I patiently waited for a good spot on the chart that showed where it could possibly reverse and begin to move higher from there. I purchased Square as it was holding and bouncing off of a specific support level at around $9.11 a share. Looking back, you can see that I was able to get in very close near the lowest price this stock has ever traded at. The way I was able to do this was by combining my charting skills with my fundamental analysis that I had been doing on the stock and having a lot of conviction that this company would become very successful in the future. So what was the secret to this kind of return or even higher returns? The first step is buying an early trend. Amazon, Facebook, Apple, and Google, and the like all started as early trends. Today, these companies' market caps have grown exponentially. These are huge companies. Just take a look at Amazon's market cap growth or Apple's market cap growth and even Facebook's market cap growth. These are big percentage gains in the sizes of these companies. Most of the largest and most successful companies today started off as small companies that eventually got discovered by investors and had massive growth trends over several years. Years. The key is finding the early trends and investing before everybody catches on and jumps on the bandwagon. That takes research, being in the know, and a little vision for what the future could hold. It pays, literally, to pay attention to the world around you. At the time with Square, mobile payments by plugging a device into your phone to swipe a card 
was new. I was thinking about how this could really help small businesses, which are a huge part of our overall economy. I was thinking about how much of the world still transacted in cash, and Square was beginning to expand internationally at the time. I was thinking about all of the other offerings Square was putting out to create a full-on ecosystem for businesses to handle not only payments. So sometimes it's more than just looking at a stock chart or stock price. It's the story behind a company that is super important. The story is what moves stocks. Secondly, you have to hold your position. People are usually quick to take profits, sometimes too quick. And sometimes the opportunity comes for you to add even more money to a winning position. If you think too short term, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the gains that some of these companies may have to offer. On the flip side, you also do not want to end up holding dying companies like JCPenney's, for example, either. It's a delicate dance, and this is why you need to keep up with what the company is doing as you go along. Are they continuing to grow and innovate? Are they properly allocating their capital? Are they acquiring companies for strategic growth? Is the stock price strong and trading with momentum? Also, as you go, your thesis may become more of a reality the more data that you get, possibly even exceeding your expectations. This can lead to the opportunity to add more shares of the stock to your original position. I actually did this recently with Square myself in March during the big market panic. I bought more shares. So now my total profits have grown even higher. But for the sake of this video, I'm trying to focus on that initial cost basis of 2,700, turning that into the 43,000. So as Ian Castle, a very popular investor once said, to achieve a multi-bagger in the portfolio, you have to hold a multi-bagger in the portfolio. And a translation of that is this. If you want big returns, you have to have patience and hold your position, as long as your thesis stays intact. The third thing to consider here is your risk to reward, and knowing how to value a company helps you figure this out. You don't have to risk a lot of money in a position to get big gains, as we've seen with many other companies, especially if you're holding long-term. I risked $2,700 of my money. If I lost it, it would have been a drop in the bucket and not a big deal for me in relation to my total capital. If the stock performed well, the reward potential was multi times my original investment. How did I know that? Because I was trying to place a future value on the company that helped me figure out how large the market cap could actually grow to. I had great risk to reward, I had a story stock, and I had a strong thesis that was actually playing out as I went. Square kept performing, they kept growing at high rates. I was thinking long term. This is what kept me in. So is it easy to find these opportunities? Well, the reality is these types of growth opportunities don't happen every day. But if you're paying attention and hunting for big gainers, it's possible to find investments that outperform the baseline stock market returns. And this is really my bread and butter and what I absolutely love doing. I love researching trends to find ways to grow my capital. Some other examples of early trends that I invested in via companies are companies like Lululemon, Pinterest, and even Upwork. But look, active investing isn't right for everybody. And a lot of people actually lose money in the markets. So before you start picking stocks to invest in, make sure you have set aside risk capital that wouldn't harm your lifestyle if you lost it. So to recap, how I was able to turn $2,700 into over $43,000 with Square, I was on the hunt for early trends, first of all. I held the position and I didn't get impatient. And I carefully considered the risk to reward by understanding the valuation of the company today and where the valuation could go in the future. You don't wanna to be too late to the party. If you are, you may not be able to see the type of growth in your gains that you want to. This is where learning how to value a company comes into play. All right, that's it, Finance Fam. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more educational videos around investing and personal finance. I'll see you next time.